this is the third time I've had to try filming this, so that's about where we are right now. <laughs> um, so it is now July, guys. This is pretty crazy because the days are again just melding one into each other. Um, I have a couple of videos that I wanted to do. Um, first off, my uh, wrap up for what I read this past month of June. Um, I read less than I'd hoped, um, but I do have a lot to say about the things that I did read, um, including a lot about a series that I read that has really kind of um, renewed my uh, love in romance novels, just because they've been kind of a hit or a miss for me over the last couple of years. Um, but that will be another video. I'd like to talk more about what my TBR for uh, the month of July will be, as well as do a little bit of a book haul. Um, so I am still waiting on my book orders from SO1 Books and Frugal Bookstore. Um, they've been kind of slammed uh, by everyone uh, wanting to buy from black owned bookstores, which is wonderful for them. Um, and so I am waiting to hear information from SO1, which I believe is out of California. Uh, but I just got an update from Frugal Bookstore and my books are kind of on their way. So I'll probably be doing another video talking about those um, when they arrive and a little more about them. But at this point, I'm just calling those probably August and September TBR territory. Um, and then a couple of weeks ago, I had a rather drunken evening and looked up a whole bunch of other books. Um, I did get them from Thrift Books, not Book Outlet, because Book Outlet sucks big fucking nuts. So, um, yeah, right now we're working off of um, other book stores online and otherwise. So, yeah. um, so let's get into the books that I just uh, received, and we'll talk about my TBR for this month. Um, so, first off... Um, I have The Blood of Olympus by Rick Roy Orden. This is book five in the Heroes of Olympus series. Um, I've wanted to read this for a few years now. Um, I did also order the other four books in the series, but I'm just waiting on those to come in as well. Um, but yeah, so we have this. Uh, then I also purchased The Wedding Date by Jasmine Gilroy. Gil Gilroy? Gilroy? I'm so sorry. I'm probably terribly butchering that name. Um, this is a really cute uh, romance novel that I'm pretty excited to read. Um, yeah, this has been on my TBR for a little bit too, so I'm pretty happy about it. Uh, then I've also got The Stranger Beside Me by Anne Rule. Um, this, of course, is about Ted Bundy. If you don't know who Ted Bundy is, um, he's this really terrible uh, serial killer in the um, 70s and probably the 80s too, 70s and 80s, um, because I don't know, there just seemed to be a lot of serial killers in the 70s and 80s, and what the fuck was happening with you guys back then? Like what? Um, but yeah, so yeah, this is uh, about him, and it also has an added creepiness to it because Anril actually knew him and was kind of friends with him. Uh, before they all realized the evil, uh, depraved things that he was up to. So, yeah, this is going to be chilling. Um, but I've also wanted to be reading this for quite a while, too, so. Uh, then next up, I have Becoming by Michelle Obama. Um, this, of course, is her, uh, memoir. I'm a little sad that the dust jacket didn't come with this. Um, but, you know, that's okay. So this looks pretty good too. There's also some really cute pictures in here as well. But um, yeah, this would be a good read. And then I also got Murder for Christmas by Agatha Christie because um, if I see cheap Agatha Christie, I can't, um, can't really resist it. Uh, this is a 
bind up of four holiday themed uh, mysteries. It is Murder for Christmas, The Hollow, which I think I may possibly have read before maybe. Um, Murder in Retrospect and 13 at Dinner. Um, I believe at least one of them has floral in it. I'm not sure about the others, but uh, yeah, this would be cool. Uh, of course, it is Christmas themed, so honestly, I'm probably going to save this one for like December, um, but I might break and read it early. I don't know. And then I also grabbed Alexander Hamilton by Ron Chernoff. This, of course, is the big thick boy that uh, inspired Lin-Manuel Miranda to uh, write the Hamilton musical and I'm pretty much trash for Hamilton. We just watched it the other day um, and I have like three of the songs simultaneously stuck in my head right now. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> um, but of course, like I said, this is a big one so I'm sure this is going to be on like my TBR for a while. It's just going to take me um, a while to get through that. And I also have another autobiography of him as well to kind of compare. Um, or not an autobiography, he didn't write it. Biography, excuse me. <laughs> but, yeah. So, these are the books I received recently. Um, like I said, when I receive the other books uh, from my order, I'll do a little um, haul of those. I do know that uh, one order is on its way and the other one I'm not uh, sure, but yeah, we'll see when they get here. Um, as far as this month's TBR goes, um, currently, so I did not complete as much reading as I would have liked to this past month. Um, besides being busy, um, just trying to do stuff that'll, like, help in any way, um, with everything that's been going on, I have also uh, been um, trying to stave off a large amount of anxiety that encroached um, by basically uh, playing lots and lots of Stardew Valley. So yeah, I didn't do as much reading as I wanted to, so I have a couple of books moving over from last month uh, to this month, and then I have some other books. Um, that I would like to read. So for the month of July, this is what I would like to read. Um, I would really like to finish reading Northern Borders by Howard Frank Mosher. Yes, I did not finish reading this last month because um, we got to kind of a sad part and my brain would not allow me to continue. So um, I'm on like page 207, um, so almost to the end. So I would really like to uh, finish this off this month. Um, then I had started The Reader by Tracy Chi last month. I'm on chapter five, The Apprentice. And so right at the beginning, um, things have happened already. And it looks like it's gonna get crazier from here on out. So yeah, I would like to finish this up this month as well. Um, then I have a couple of books that I already had that are on my TBR, um, starting with Love in the Time of Cholera by Gabriel Garcia Marquez. Um, this one I have been wanting to read and also putting off for like three or four years now. So I want to finally get to it and it's kind of on the thin side. So I'm hoping I can push myself right along. Um, and then Another kind of thin one I chose for this month is Small Spaces by Katherine Arden. I have been reading, or not reading, I have been, um, while I work I usually listen to uh, various podcasts and one um, that I've been currently binging, uh, besides my, my regular few that I really like listening to, is Ghost in the Burbs. Um, by Liz Sauer. Uh, she tells ghost stories from Wellesley, Massachusetts, and she is, I believe, currently on hiatus again, um, but I hadn't really heard any of her 
uh, stuff before, so I've basically been binging the entire show. I'm, like, almost caught up, I think. But, uh, yeah, I'm in the mood for spooky shit, even though it's, like, July. Um, but I'm in the mood, so I figured this would be a nice little deliciously, um, little spooky thing to read this month. And then I would also really like to read Becoming by Michelle Obama. Uh, the Wedding Date by Jasmine Guillory and The Stranger Beside Me by Anne Rule. Um, I'm hoping that... Alright, so I know the first one I'm probably going to pick up is honestly going to be Small Spaces. Um, and then I'm going to try to finish one of the books that I'm already in the middle of. And then my next hope is to start one of these books and at some point in the middle get into this because I know this is going to scare the ever-loving fuck out of me even though Ted Bundy is dead and has been for a long time. Um, so yeah, I know that I'm probably going to have to sandwich this in between these two so I have some, uh, you know, heartwarming or, uh, fluff maybe in this I don't know romance is usually fluff not all the time but I don't know I'm hoping to like yeah sandwich this in between so I have some fun stuff anyway so that is uh my TBR for this month currently um if my order comes in uh in a reasonable-ish time this month um, I will probably also look at those. Um, I do know that out of um, that particular order, the ones I was most excited to read um, were I Know Where the Caged Bird Sings by Maya Angelou, and I was also, um, what was the other one that I really wanted to read? Um, I also wanted to read The Bluest Eye by Toni Morrison. Um, so if those come in in a reasonable-ish time, I might try to squeeze one or, or both of those onto my TBR for this month as well, but um, we'll see. Most likely they're going to be on um, next month's TBR, so yeah. Um, this is where I'm at for this month is reading these books. I hope that you all are enjoying uh, your summer such as it is. Um, and everything, uh, staying safe, um, you know, trying to, trying to do your best out there, uh, it's hot as hell over here, so that's fun. Um, anyway, I'm off to do some more reading, I hope that you are successful in your month's TBR, and, um, see you in the next video, guys.